What's up guys, it's your boy Naminja here, bringing you a gameplay playing hardpoint with the Obsidian Steed, and I'm all, all I'm running stock, quick draw, and extended mags. And today what I'm going to be talking about is two topics. One topic is going to be, is the Obsidian Steed good? And the other one is the new clan that I joined as a commentator. Alright guys, and let's start off with the it was the Obsidian Steed good. And about the Obsidian Steed, it's good and it's bad at the same time. I think it's more it's better than it, it's it's better than it is bad. And by I mean what I mean by that is it's good because it goes up in damage, but it's bad because it goes down in fire rate, so you kinda have to keep your distance with it unless you get first shots. Because if you like to rush a lot and you like to use the bell, but you don't have like anything other than the obsidian speed, like you don't have the inferno or something, uh, the regular bell is pretty good because it's still the most, like, the best assault rifle in the game. But with the obsidian speed, it's weird because like I can use the regular bell and do way better than, with it than the obsidian speed, but. I don't know, my boy defeats over here and Storm Pub stomping. He thinks the Obsidian Steed is really good, but I don't know about the Obsidian Steed. It's just like, it's just not my favorite type of gun. And next thing what I'm going to be talking about is the new clan I joined. And by that, I still mean I'm still in TP on PS4. She told the power, but on uh, there's a... Uh, I am a commentator for this clan called Storm Pub Stomping. Make sure you check them out on YouTube. Um, they basically drop 70 second Kims, knife only DNA bombs. And I'm not in it as a pub stomper because, you know, they mostly use God accounts like any other COD pub stomper. To be a pub stomper, you gotta use modded accounts because if your KD is what it is, um, while you pub stomp, you'll never get a single bad person. Like my KD, it's a 1.20, and I still oh, never find test. noobs. I only find noobs in game modes noobs play oh, like Mosh Pit or Team Deathmatch, and, you know, stuff like that. But I mostly play ranked for a lot. And so, with me joining this new clan, I'm not going to be uploading as much as I... I know I used to upload every day, but... I'm actually going to try to upload to the channel at 4 to 5 times at least a week. 4 minimum and maybe 5 if not more. Uh, and I don't usually upload on the weekends because, you know, I'm busy all nighters, all that, don't feel like doing it. But I try to upload every day throughout the weekdays. And also, with me joining them as a commentator, doing commentary for them, I'm going to try to make my way up to being a pub stomper with him, but that's when I get the Xbox One, and this guy actually told me he would trade me his Xbox One for my PS4. Write in the comments what you guys think I should do, but the thing is, if I get an Xbox One, I will not be able to upload to YouTube because I'll have to buy a capture card, which is like $150, so I'm just going to wait until I got enough money and buy it all at one time and still have my PS4 too, but just write what you guys think I should do, and also, you guys think I am good enough to be a commentator, or should I join, try to join as a pub stomper too, because um, I don't know when I'm going to do my first commentary, I think for the channel I'm going to do my first commentary over, um, I'm pretty sure a 78 sec 79 or 78 second chem strike solo, and what also tell me what you guys think about advanced warfare i know it's like a little weird but not mu really much more to talk about the obsidian seed or me joining storm pub stomping oh yeah make sure you check them out on youtube storm pub stomping i think they have like 415 or 16 i just checked 416 subs on YouTube helped the channel grow a little. I think they've been 16 subs in like the past two days. So the channel is growing really good. And with me joining this clan, my channel will grow 
really good too. Because <laughs> like total power. Uh, I'm not gonna be in it with the next cod. I'm gonna stay in it with this cod because you know I never tasted the clay niggas, my boy. But I'm just not gonna be in it with the next cod. I'm gonna try to move up. If I even get the next cod, I might just move the battlefield. But I don't know man. And so let's talk about advanced warfare. And so with advanced warfare, I don't really like it that much because of the exo jumping. You know, my it makes my accuracy bad. My my PS4 controller, that L3 button, the button I used to run with, doesn't even work. It, like if you push it down, that's why if you ever see me running in my gameplay, it'll, I'll run and then stop and run and stop. It's just because my controller stops. Like, you can't push it down hard enough for it to do this. And so going back to Advanced Warfare, I started off my COD career on Modern Warfare 2. When I got my first PS3, I remember getting Modern Warfare 2 with it. And it was like $9. So it wasn't brand new, you know. Like the game was brand new, it's just Modern Warfare 3. I think Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare 3 was already out when I got Modern Warfare 2. So I got Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 1, I think. And I just remember I never had internet. Like I didn't really care either about it. We had internet, it's just I didn't care to play video games online, you know. It just didn't really bother me because I never played that much. And so, I started playing online in like Black Ops 2 and all I did was snipe because I was in some good plans for sniping and so, I just snipe but I wouldn't play, play it like that, I play it like I was three times a week maybe, I just didn't like video games like that, I was more into like playing football or whatever sport there was. And then I just kind of got bored of football and whatever else. And I was just like, you know what? Why would I want to just touch another man for fun? Nah, it just didn't seem fun to me. I like watching football and playing. It's pretty fun. I just, I don't care about it that much to play it every day anymore. And then, so, after that, I just kind of started playing Call of Duty and ended up being pretty good at Ghost. And I still like Ghost because Ghost was the first game that I actually played on mine and cared about my stats and stuff. And then Advanced Warfare came and you know, I got Advanced Warfare on day zero. And, you know, I was just coming from Ghost and you know, I was like really good at Ghost I thought. So I was like alright, Ghost is a blast for me. It's pretty easy now, I just get all my streaks. And then Advanced Warfare came out and I should have stuck with Classic for at least a couple days so my KD wouldn't be terrible. And then I was planning on having like a 2 or a 3 KD in this game and I, I think if I would have went to Classic I could have or just like do what a lot of people do just start off an Infected so you have good stats off the bat. And then just do that but no I went straight into Domination and with that I started off in domination, you know, I ended up having like a 0.43 KD or something. And then I went to uplink and if you guys didn't see my first COD fail was on uplink on this map solar. And I was on a 27 gun streak. And then, you know, some guy spawned right there and just punched me and I lost the O. Never got into a DNA streak like that again until... Actually, my first DNA came out on Christmas morning. I was playing with my boy The Feeds, this is when he still had a PS4, and right before the PS4 servers got hacked, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I dropped a DNA, and I was like, it's a Christmas miracle. I'm dropping a DNA on Christmas, my first DNA, and it was on Christmas. I was, it just blew my mind right there. I, I couldn't stand it. And then my boy defeats, you know. Then he was like, you know what? I'm tired of the servers for uh, PS4 being down, and they were down for like oh, five days. I'm pretty sure because we got everyone on PS4 got five days of free PSN. So I, yeah, it was down for five days, and I think after like the third day, he was like, all right, I'm getting a one. And short, long story short. The, he actually didn't have to pay anything for his one. The cashier messed up and he got his one for free. 
So, um, th that's about it for today's commentary. Just tell me what you guys thought. Should I get an Xbox One or just stick with PS4? I know all my friends at school got an Xbox One, so that's the main reason why I'm going to get an Xbox One. But tell me if I should just completely switch. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if not already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.